Well, you may have heard the news that I had a health issue earlier this year. The medical experts tell me that I had a one in five chance of surviving. And here I am. I have to say that it was reassuring to me as I underwent a variety of tests when I saw that the medical equipment being used was designed and produced by a company I have trained at. However, after extensive tests, it was determined that I should undergo brain surgery to biopsy some abnormal growth. You can see the scar here. I did have an experience at one manufacturer of medical devices where I ran into some young, arrogant engineers that I would put in the category of TDK, TT, DK, TT, TK. They don't know. They don't know. They think they know. The company was experiencing quality issues with some of the devices they made. These issues resulted in failure rates and great expense to the company. When the surgeon described the brain surgery, I could only picture the poor job of controlling part geometry I had observed on that medical equipment. I keep seeing this full color CAD printout that was supposedly the engineer's tolerance analysis of the quality issue. It was a joke based on a lot of assumptions because they did not understand geometric tolerancing. They had relied on direct tolerancing, you know, plus minus tolerancing, to locate features rather than geometric tolerancing and datum feature references. I pointed out the errors, but their egos could not handle it. They thought they knew. Rather than listen and learn, they just turned the task over to a seasoned designer. Sadly, they still don't get it. I've learned that ignorance is a bliss, and there are a lot of happy people out there. The nickel-sized drill the surgeon used to drill through the cranium should detect soft tissue sac surrounding the brain. This should stop the drilling process. Then my sick humor kicked in. I started imagining things that could go wrong. If the drill did not sense the soft tissue and stop drilling, the surgeon would drill too deep and my village would have a new parking meter. Additionally, after removing the tumor for a biopsy, stapling the incision was required. I meant, might end up with a new nose ring, which would be okay if that was the look I was after should the stapler fail. See my nice row of staples. You know, I make certain that the neurosurgeon has the proper credentials. How about if you do the same? Make darn certain the folks at your company who create and read drawings know how to read. In case you didn't know, there's a national certification of the ASMEY 14.5 standard. How about making certain all of your folks are certified? Most engineering colleges do not teach the subject. That's right. You hire engineers to read and approve drawings. If drawings are made to the standards, most graduate engineers cannot read the drawings that they have to approve. Hey, if you want to work for me, you be or get senior level certified. I am fighting this health issue with all that I can. Wouldn't it be a tragic irony if one of my medical procedures fails because of a poor design or insufficient tolerance analysis? Please do not let me down. This message isn't just for medical device companies. Weaponry and armored vehicles that our soldiers need and depend upon are delivered late or with poor quality for the same reasons stated earlier. It's all geometry. Not only are lives affected by poor geometric control, but also product quality, the bottom line, loss of business, and overseas competition. Look, it's a simple concept. In manufacturing, we add value to raw materials. In other words, we build wealth. We're drifting toward more of a service economy. Well, service doesn't add value. It robs wealth. We can't keep going around suing and insuring one another. That is not going to build wealth for our nation. <laughs> Don't even get me started on taxes. I would like my legacy to be that I helped 
our country regain its manufacturing prominence. Thanks for listening. The staples come out tomorrow if the staple retraction tool works properly. I'll be back here working on the next tip because, as you know, here at Techies, GD&T rules. See you next tip.